I think that there are, uh, are a number of things that might be done to uh, promote uh, better relations between courts and Congress. There are already some mechanisms in place. For example, there is a mechanism called a mechanism of statutory housekeeping, so, so uh, named by um, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And this is an effort, a project which I uh, designed several years ago with uh, Frank Coffin, himself a former legislator and a very distinguished judge, whereby uh, opinions of the courts of appeals identifying uh, perceived problems and statutes are sent to Congress for its consideration. This is something that the uh, uh, members of Congress very much like, the chairs and ranking members of the Judiciary Committees of the, ha of the House and the Senate have both supported it. It's basically a transmission belt of neutral communication where published opinions identifying perceived problems in statutes are sent to Congress for its consideration. Other things that, that might be done is that for the benefit of the judiciary, various entities in Congress like the Congressional uh, Research Service, the drafting uh, offices of the House and Senate might um, prepare uh, manuals that uh, new judges and clerks can, uh, law clerks, would have access to training sessions that give judges a better sense going into the job and throughout their careers if they're, they haven't had availed themselves of these seminars and manuals, an opportunity to learn how Congress works. And similarly, for uh, members of Congress and their staffs, the administrative office of the courts and the Federal Judicial Center could put together all kinds of, of uh, uh, manuals and training materials about the workings of the judiciary. As to the former, in terms of, of uh, legislating, le legislative drafting uh, materials, uh, there is a fine paper by uh, Doug Bellis that um, is very useful uh, in that regard.